Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty. We all love pancakes off of the Blackstone. In this video, I'm gonna show you a savory, crispy, crunchy, perfect potato pancake that you guys are gonna love making at home for your family and friends. It is so simple and so delicious. I just know you're gonna love it, so let me show you how. When it comes to making pancakes off of the Blackstone, no matter which model or size Blackstone you're using, they always come out better on a Blackstone. Whether you like sweet or fruity, chocolatey, taco pancakes, or pancakes made with boxed cake mix, mini pancakes or plate sized pancakes, pancakes swirled with ooey gooey cinnamon and butter. We've showed you guys tons and tons of pancake videos that you can find right here within the Blackstone YouTube channel. But I personally love a savory, crispy potato pancake. So let's roll right into this. I've got two gigantic russet potatoes. These together weigh about three pounds. I've got one large yellow onion and a bowl full of ice water. We'll start this off by peeling up our potatoes and then we're going to shred these potatoes right into the water. Now you could use either a hand grater, a box grater, or one of those bougie vegetable graters. What you're looking for though is long strips of potatoes. The longer the strips of potatoes, the better because you'll see as these fry up just how extra gorgeous those strands of potatoes turn the outsides of our potato pancakes. Now for our onion, you could grate this right in with the potatoes into that water, which is what I'm gonna do, or you could grate it into a separate bowl. The onions are going to add so much flavor. Now you're probably wondering why I'm grating all of this into a bowl of ice water. Now the secret is this will help with the oxidation of the potatoes from the potatoes turning brown. You'll notice the water turning brown or pink or even red, which is perfectly normal. And the water also will pull out a lot of starch from these potatoes, which will help create that crispy, crunchy potato pancake that we are looking to achieve. Now we'll let these hang out while we jump over to making our pancake batter. I've got three large eggs, a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, I like to add some garlic powder, parsley flakes for flavor and color, and my seasoning profile today will be the Blackstone Essential Blend. Now you can pick any Blackstone seasoning that you prefer if you wanna go for a cheesesteak potato pancake, a taco potato pancake, or even a sweet snickerdoodle pancake. For a little pinch of heat, I have some Tabasco sauce. You could pick your favorite hot sauce or you can go for something like cayenne pepper. Before we start mixing all of that together and assembling our pancakes, let's get our Blackstone E-Series preheated to 375. While that comes up to temperature, I also have my oil ready. I'm using a sunflower oil, any neutral flavored oil. You don't wanna go for anything heavy like olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. That way you can really taste the flavor of the potato itself. Now into a large bowl, let's get these eggs cracked. We'll season them up with a few dashes of our Tabasco sauce, our Blackstone Essential Blend, a little garlic powder and parsley flakes, and then add in our flour and give that a whisk. Jumping back over to our shredded potatoes, we've got to get these rinsed off of all of that extra starch. And then using some clean kitchen towels or paper towels even, wring out as much water as possible. You might need to switch out your kitchen towels a few times, but the drier these potatoes and onions, the crispier these potatoes are going to come out. Once I have my potatoes nice and dried off, we're going to slowly add these into our pancake batter mixture giving these a mix. Now you'll notice this batter does not necessarily look like that very wet pancake batter that you're used to. We're looking to just have enough batter to lightly coat each potato strand. Once this is all done, our Blackstone is nice and preheated. We're set up with our Blackstone griddle mat and spatula. It's time to drop down a little bit of our sunflower oil. 
a spoonful of our pancake batter. Now you could make these anywhere from small to large. The size is up to you. If you were to serve these as an appetizer, you might wanna do little bite-sized pancakes. For me today, we're doing about two each for everybody in my house. Using a spatula or the back of your spoon, you'll wanna press down on those potatoes to create that flat pancake. These need about three to five minutes per side on the E-Series. The time and temperature might vary if you're outside using your traditional black stone griddle. Because remember, you can always continue to cook your food longer, but you cannot unburn something. So start with low heat, and if it's not enough, you can always add more. Once these are done, we're gonna pull these off and immediately hit them with a little flaky salt. And I like to serve mine up with just a traditional dollop of daisy and some chopped chives. That is perfection to me, but you at home can serve your potato pancakes alongside or to dip in anything that your heart desires. Either way, I know you guys are gonna love these. They're so super simple and such an old family style favorite. I can't wait to see you guys making these at home and when you do, be sure to post a picture. And don't forget to check out all of the pancake recipes available to you through the Blackstone YouTube channel and the Blackstone website. And until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video.